Hello fellow viewers, today we'll be talking a little bit about trigonometry or to be more specific, trigonometric ratios of acute angles and right angle triangles. So now I'm just going to draw a right angle triangle and this is triangle A, B, C. So the right angle is right over here. So hold on, this side over here, we call this the hypotenuse. Why do we call it this? Because the hypotenuse is the side which is opposite of the 90 degree angle in the right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is also the longest of the three sides. Yeah? So now we got that. So what do we call the two other sides? Hmm, good question. So it depends on where we're viewing them from. So let's say I'm viewing them from angle B, A, C. So the side, which is directly beside me, we will call this the adjacent. And then the side, which is direct, oops, my bad. So the side that is directly opposite of the angle will be called the opposite. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, but what if we are viewing from this angle here? So this angle is angle ACB. So now the side that is beside this angle is side BC. So then we'll call this the adjacent. And then AB would be directly opposite angle ACB. So now we will call this side the opposite, right? So we do have a trigonomic ratios for this so that we can find the angles or the length of the sides. So basically, we call them sine, cosine, or tangent. So basically, sine of an angle will equal to the ratio. The ratio is uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Yeah? So cosine of an angle will equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and for tangent of an angle will give you opposite over the adjacent so yeah okay um yeah let's uh, put this into action let's try it out so um i'm just going to pretend that angle is going to okay this this is a random number yeah so let's say angle acb equals to 60 degrees, yeah? Okay, then the hypotenuse uh, Let's give the hypotenuse a length of 20 So let's say they I want to find Length of the opposite No, wait, not the length I want to find the length of AB So since I have the angle of ACB I'll just view the triangle from this angle here So from this angle and I'm looking at AB, it is my opposite sign. So uh, now I, what I have is the angle ACB. I also have the length of the hypotenuse. And I want to find length AB, which is the opposite. So using these information that I know, um, we, we can use sign, okay? We can use sign because I have I have my hypotenuse and I have my angle. I just don't have my opposite side, so we can just work it out. So basically, sine 60 degrees will equal to my opposite over hypotenuse. So I'll just write AB over 20. So how do I find AB? Basically, we just cross multiply. We, I bring my 20 over and uh, underneath here is just one. So yeah, we just multiply like this. So AB equals to 20 times sine 60 degrees so if we work this out I'll get 17.3205 so AB equals to 17.3 cm I'll round it off to three significant figures yeah so now we know how that works okay so um, what if I'm trying to find the angle of one of the triangle sides so um, let's say I have, um, okay, 
let's say I have let's say the opposite side is 10 yeah let's give make it 10 so now I am viewing from this side I want to find angle BAC okay hold on let me just just copy this whole thing give me a moment yeah okay I'm gonna bring it down here all right so let's say the question wants me to find angle BAC and I know that my hypotenuse equals to 20 and I know that my opposite equals no wait that's not my opposite anymore since now we are uh, we want to find BAC we will now view from angle BAC so the side beside BAC which is AB and I know AB equals to 10 so this is now my adjacent so my adjacent which is so AB will equal to 10 Okay. So, using any of these trigonomic ratios we just learned just now, I have my adjacent and I have my hypotenuse, so I can use cosine. So therefore, cosine of angle BAC will equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which is the same as half. All right. So how do I find the angle? We can just basically cross multiply. So if if you want to find the angle, in order to find the angle, you have to use the inverse of these trigonomic ratios. So the inverses are basically just sine inverse, cosine inverse, and then tangent inverse. And then the numbers beside it are basically just the ratios. Yeah, so now we got that. Since we want to find the angle, so angle B A C equals to cosine inverse half. So if we work that out, we get sixty degrees. B angle B A C will equal sixty degrees. Yeah, this is not drawn to scale, by the way. I'm just making uh, random numbers. So yeah, that's how we find the angles or the sides. Or the lengths so now we're gonna do a practice question so over here ABC is a right angle triangle and uh, with the right angle at a so we know that our a is our right angle so we need to find X and X is actually just DC so basically um, what we can do right okay we need to analyze this question first so we do know that angle a ABD is a right angle triangle too and we also know that triangle ABC is also a right angle triangle. So we can use trigonometry for both triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the length, sorry, I'm going to find the length of AC, then I'm going to find the length of AD, then I'm going to take these two lengths together and minus them so that I can find DC. So how am I going to work this out? So basically, um, Hmm, where should I start with you? Okay, I'm going to find... I'm going to find... Uh, I'm going to find AC first, okay? So before I need to do... Uh, before I do that, I have to find one of the angles. So uh, for triangle ABC, I'm going to find angle BCA. So angle BCA, viewing from here, I have my opposite and I have my hypotenuse. So basically, I can use sine. So sine angle BCA equals to 10 over 16. So angle, B, oh, sorry, it's a bit glitchy. So angle BCA equals to sine inverse 10 over 16. And that'll give me 38.68218. I'll just put like five decimals. So, okay, so that's my angle there. So now, it can use any of these. I can use this value or this value to form a ratio with AC down here. So I'm just going to use the hypotenuse. So I can use cosine. So therefore, cosine 38.68218 degrees equals to your adjacent, which is just AC, over your hypotenuse. And your hypotenuse is 16. 
So cross multiply, so we get uh, AC equals to 16 cosine 38.68218 degree equal to We get 12.48999 So if we just simplify it uh, I'm not gonna simplify it yet, I'm just gonna leave it like this so that's our AC length. So now we need to find AD. So I'm just going to use this angle here. So basically for AD, I have my hypotenuse and I also have my opposite. So I can use the sine. So the sine angle BDA equals to my, uh, my opposite over my hypotenuse, which is 10 over 14. So angle BDA equals to sine inverse 10 over 14 which will give me forty five point five eight four six nine. yeah so now i have that i can use any of these sides here to compare again i'm going to use the hypotenuse so i can use cosine and uh, cosine 45.58469 degrees equals to my adjacent over hypotenuse, which my adjacent is AD over 14. So then I can cross multiply. So AD will equal to 14 cosine 45.58469 degrees. And that'll give me... nine point seven nine seven nine five so now i just take ac minus ad in order to find dc so therefore 12.48999 minus 9.79795 equals to 12.48 was the 2.69204 which I if I round off the three significant figures will give me 2.69 centimeters did they state centimeter okay they didn't so I'm just gonna put 2.69 free SF and that's our answer that's X so X equals to this okay uh, let's do one more practice question let's do this one all right, um, in the figure below, A, B, and C, D are perpendicular to B, C. So that means they form right angles. And the size of angle A, C, B is 31. So I'm just gonna indicate that, 31. Find the length of segment B, D. So I need to find the length here. Oops. Okay, let's, let's just pretend it's a straight line. I need to find BD, okay? The length of BD. So right now, if I'm looking from uh, angle BCA, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent. Because look, the right angle is here, so this one directly opposite is my hypotenuse. So what I need to do is to find my adjacent here. I need my adjacent. And then using this adjacent, I can find a trigonometric ratio between these two to find the angle here or up here. And then using this angle and comparing one of these numbers, I can use it to find BD. So I'm going to try to do that now. So basically, I need my adjacent. So I need, I have my opposite, I have my angle, and I have my adjacent. So that would do tangent 31 degrees equals to 6 over BC. So B, C equals to 6 divided by tangent 31, which will give me 9.98567. Okay, Alright, so now I have my B, C. So now I need to find, um, I'll just find angle B, D, C. Yeah, B, D, C. So this... So if I'm viewing it from up here, this will be my adjacent, and this will be my opposite. So again, tangent angle BDC equals to my opposite over my adjacent, which is 9.98567 over 9. 
that'll give me angle BDC equals the tangent inverse 9.98567 divided by 9, which is 47.971929 degrees. So that's my angle BDC. So using that angle, I can use it to find my hypotenuse, which is my BD, which is what I'm trying to find. So cosine 47.971929 degrees equals to 9 over BD. So B D will end up equaling to 9 over cosine 47.971929, which will give me 13.4429.7592 If I round that off to three significant figures, 13.4 There is actually another method you can do which is less long-winded um, Okay, since I got my length of BC now I can actually just use the Pythagoras theorem So let's try that out, yeah? So BD square okay BD equals to the square root of 9 square plus 9.98567 square so let's try that out see if we get the same answer and yes we do get 13.4429, which will give us 13.4. It's free as f. So you got two ways you can find BD. You can use trigonometry, which is down here, or you can use Pythagoras theorem, which is up there. All right. So I hope this video helped you understand trigonometry better. So thank you.